stray dogs menacing Plano still have not been caught. If you watch our news on a regular basis at all, you know who I'm talking about. These pooches are infamous. The city's been trying to capture these two same stray dogs for eight months now after they attacked a jogger. And in that time, the attacks have continued, the sightings have continued, and now the city is sending out another warning to neighbors. Gabriel Rojas, live in Plano Forest. Gabriel, explain this to me. Why can no one catch these dogs? Well, then we know exactly how hard it is to catch them because shortly after the first story we aired on the dogs, we saw them ourselves and we tried to follow them back to one of these alleys. But Animal Control says the dogs have learned how to use these alleys to make quick escapes, and that's just one way they're outsmarting us all. Plano Animal Services is convinced the dog's owner dumped them at some point. We don't even know their genders for sure, but the family of one victim has decided on a couple of names. I think somebody called call them Bonnie and Clyde or something like that because they're just running away from the people. You know. Dre Pavey can laugh now that his son's leg is healing, but the scars from where one dog bit him aren't the only reminder of the painful attack. We got a bill uh, today, it was about $3,800 just for the, for, for the, just for the shots. Um, and that's after insurance, so it's just uh, between however many bitings that there's been, it's like probably $40,000 worth of medical bills, you know, for lots of people. 12-year-old Eli Pavey is among eight victims believed to have been attacked by the same pair of dogs. One is likely an Australian cattle dog following its instinct to herd cattle and nipping at the back of heels of joggers and anyone who runs away from it. It can't be the, this hard to catch two dogs, but, like, they're smart and stuff, which makes it harder. Animal control officers insist no one is as eager to catch the dogs as they are. Over the last eight months, the pair seem to have learned to recognize the sound of city trucks. That's why officers have started using their personal vehicles to chase them. The city is asking for the public's help, calling in sightings, but they urge everyone not to get too close to the dogs. I saw this lady and I rolled down the window. I said, hey, there, have you seen some stray dogs? And she was like, yeah, my husband is actually trying to feed them. And I, and I was like, D you need to get a hold of your husband and tell him, don't feed these dogs. Since August, more than 50 sightings over 20 square miles haven't been enough to stop the attacks. It's just important to get as much information out as possible so that if the more people that know about these dogs, the better. And the Pavey family says they feel like the city is doing everything it can, considering the amount of ground it has to cover. So they hope the public will double efforts to report sightings. We're live in Plano. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.